What's going on guys? Dragast here and today we're playing some BeamNG in space. Actually not really because we don't have any sort of spaceships or anything, but I thought I would show you guys this map because it is pretty damn cool. It is legit space in BeamNG. Uh, the world's actually supposed to be the scale of the real world as well as the moon in the distance there. Now, can you land on them? I think you can, but it takes years to actually make it to them. Uh, so it's actually a real scaled world, according to the developer, of course. But that's not the important part. The important part is what we're looking at right now. The game's been updated and we got a beautiful Jeep to play with now. This is the Ibishu Hopper. It's a new vehicle made by BeamNG. It is not a modded vehicle. It's part of the game. And this was the major release for the newest 0.9 update. It did a lot of physics-based uh, enhancements. Uh, the, the physics system's actually supposed to be about 30% faster now, so those fast crashes that go absolutely crazy should hopefully be fixed now. And yeah, we finally got a Jeep in the game made by the developer, so we don't have to rely on it being an amazing mod. We know it's going to be amazing because I think, well, at least I personally think, all the developer vehicles are some of the best vehicles in the game. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this thing today. First of all, I saw when I was trying to pull this thing in the right direction because, uh, well, trying to deal with this thing in space is not very fun. You can actually pull these little asteroids over here. So you know what? I'm gonna try and crash one of these into this thing and we'll see what happens here. All right, I've attached myself to one of them, as you can see, and you can actually make it go faster and faster. And if we can get lucky here, oh God. Come on. Oh, it's so close. Okay, we, we just need to figure out the perfect way to hit this thing. There we go. And a little closer, a little closer. Oh! Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, man. Collisions in space, though, are beautiful. What the hell? I don't even know what I did to the thing, but uh, obviously it's not doing too well. I need to crash an asteroid into this, though. There we go. Finally! I hit it with an asteroid, damn it. So we got a little bit of damage there, not too bad. I wish it was going a little bit faster. We can pull it back, maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, oh, nope, still going really slow. I had the other one going a lot faster. I uh, don't really know how I did that, but this is kind of fun. Oh, I did it again, I totally destroyed the vehicle. Okay, well, at least we can play with the vehicle. That's kind of fun too. All right, there we go. Isn't it beautiful? Destroying vehicles in space, guys. Only in BeamNG, man. Only in BeamNG. <laughs> I don't know what I did to the thing, but it is totally fucked up. All right, well, as fun as it is to have a Jeep in space, it doesn't really work very well here. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to a different map where, you know, the Jeep might be better suited. Okay, didn't expect that to happen. So, for whatever reason, when I opened a new map, we're still in wet weightlessness here, guys. So, we, we, we might have to do some science here to fix this. All right, we're gonna go to environment. Let's go to Earth gravity. There you go. You're back on Earth, you silly goose. You don't need to be weightless anymore. All right, well, we're kind of on Earth. Let's just let's just say that. Welcome to Wilfred's Woolly World based on one of my favorite games, Yoshi's Woolly World. If you haven't played it, go play it. It's freaking amazing and adorable. Uh, I thought this would be a pretty good place to uh, just try and stress test this thing. For example, just like that. Okay, go figure. You can't jump a Jeep off a 50-foot cliff and still drive it around. I was optimistic, but uh, yeah, that did not work. But yeah, honestly, guys, this is just another map I wanted to check out because I downloaded a bunch of maps. The, the way I usually play BeamNG, I download a bunch of stuff and then I just play through it, and that's what I did right here. So, figured I would check this one out. Nothing better than a woolly world to play around in, and actually, it will be good for uh, trying to stress test this thing. I just want to see, uh, with some realistic... Pretty hardcore drive because you can see how long this Jeep's going to last. So we'll go around here for a little bit, or maybe not. Come on. Okay, you know what? Well, I can use my magic pull. Let's actually slow it down a little bit. There we go. To fix that. All right, I should probably mention, is that a whale? Oh, that's so adorable. And now it makes sense. This is Whale Fred's Woolly World. We got a little whale over there. Please tell me I can go in his mouth. That, that would make me so happy. Now, I should mention I'm using one of the more powerful versions of the Jeep right now. Can you tell? I, <laughs> I, I can hardly control this damn thing. This is, this is a little bit too much power. All right. It looks like you can definitely make it in there. I don't know what's going on with this, uh, this reflection, by the way, guys. It's absolutely crazy. Maybe, just maybe, we can, we can make it into the mouth? I don't know. Regardless, we'll have an epic crash anyways, and we'll get the chest out. Okay, maybe we won't have an epic crash. We'll just slowly fo float. 
to the bottom of the ocean here. That is a very big whale, though. Jeez. All right, let's give this thing a good beating here. Let's just go around and go batshit crazy. Ooh, man, good suspension on that thing. We saved that somehow. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll jump off that. Why not? All right, this is actually really awesome. This vehicle, very, very powerful. More than enough power for how light this little thing is. Uh, let's see if we can uh, land a bottomed out jump here and... No, we're, we're so not going away with that. Oh, God. Okay, now we're flipping into the woolly beach. Isn't it beautiful? And there we go. This will actually allow me to show you something else that's new into the game. You can actually save your crashes. Now, I don't really understand why you would want to do that, but you can actually do it. So now, for example, we can reload it and then load up the saved crash. And there we go. Uh, my vehicle was flooded, so I'm not going to be able to drive it. But if you wanted to have a really banged up drive for whatever reason this is a really good way to uh save a certain crash for yourself and uh drive it once again so i think that's pretty cool i don't really know what people would use it for maybe to have a realistic looking banger race or something i don't know but i like that they're adding you know these kind of sandbox features that players can use to do whatever they may please all right but we're gonna go to an actual map now where a jeep might be good welcome ladies and gentlemen to mount whale shark this is a new modded map uh, Basically, it's an off-roading playground with a bunch of different things that we can do. Uh, I haven't actually looked at it yet, but it looks promising. There's a lot of great comments regarding it. And, uh, yeah, judging by these roads here, this is the perfect area for an off-roading focused Jeep. All right, so we're just going to go down the hill here, cut the corner a little bit. What do we got going on down here? Looks like there's a little bit of a playground. Going in full throttle, of course. Let's be uh, totally crazy here. Oh, the suspension, though. All right, you better stop. Okay, just just, just a little ding. We can probably buff that one out. We're totally fine. Let's keep... Okay, we can't really keep going. We pretty much crunched the front end here. But look at this. We got some loops here we can play with. All right, we're going to reset this thing because I think I destroyed it a little bit too much. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's go check out what's going on over here. So we got kind of like a stress test zone mixed with a loop. Uh, I haven't done a loop in a while. Let's try and do that. Of course, to do the loop, we need to do the stress test part too. So of course, we're going to do that. Hopefully, we can keep up the speed here. Uh, what the heck? Oh, my... Okay, my controller just died. This is weird. All right, crisis averted. Found some more batteries, so we are good to go. Let's try this thing out. Oh, man. Oh, God. Man, the, the freaking suspension in this thing. Okay, we probably shouldn't go full through. <laughs> That was a bouncy ride, man. The suspension in this thing's pretty damn stiff. Might be able to take the bumps pretty well, but not at a high speed. So you know what? We're gonna have to go... Well, we can actually go to this side. I wanted to try the other one, though, that's right underneath it. So we'll try this out. Oh, there's a little ramp at the end, too? Oh, man. We might need... We might need the drag racing version. We landed it! Is it good? Oh, I wish it was good because that was a good crash, man. All right, let's try out a different hopper here. There's a bunch of different ones. I downloaded some custom ones as well made by uh, players, so not all of these are the stock models. I believe these three at the bottom are modded ones. So let's try the drag racing version. Obviously, that's going to give us enough speed to do this and probably do a little bit more as well. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Look at that engine. Truly beautiful. All right, so let's try this. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we definitely got speed, guys. All right, amazingly, it's actually not doing wheelies, though, so it's not a wheelie focus build. It's a drag focus build, and oh, God. Oh, God, too, too, too much speed. Too much speed. What the hell just happened? What the... What the deuce? All right, this one might have a little bit too much speed for its own good, so I'm gonna kind of feather the throttle here and use it when we need it. I think I kind of got crashed into the ramp. Oh, there's a little bump there. That's why. That is, that is dangerous. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you see when the back wheels hit the ground? We just kept going. We're still good here. It looks like a hot rod now almost. There we go. Oh man, drag racing versions are fun. All right, but obviously it's a Jeep. We should probably focus on the off-roading version. So let's try... Let's go back. I kind of like the uh, X-T8. That's the one I was using before. All right, let's try the fully loaded version. So we got the ZX-T8 here, top trim off-road focused eight-cylinder model with a lifted suspension, larger tires, front and rear LSD running boards, and body-colored fender flares. So it's got a little bit of everything there. Uh, so yeah, we were using the base model before. Now we're using 
the fully loaded one, so hopefully this should help us out a little bit. All right, we're gonna leave the playground for right now. There's a lot more things to explore on this map, so you know what? Let's go a little bit off-roading here, see what we can find over here. There's a lot of dead branches for whatever reason. Uh, ooh, wow, this thing's got a lot of power. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a jump here. Not too much, but enough to, you know, kind of... Whoa! Oh, that, that was an abrupt ending, and look at this thing, just take it on the train with no problems at all. Alright, just gonna go out and see the lighthouse. Not that there's probably anything out here, but it's a good chance to try out this thing with some off-roading terrain, and it is working phenomenal. I would love to try this with a rock crawling map now. Uh, broke a little fender off, no big deal. We're still doing good. Right to the end and into the water. That was awesome, actually. Alright, down another dangerous dirt road. Let's uh, try and jump the top there. There we go. Oh, that was beautiful. What a landing. What's going on over here? What? Is there... I have so many questions. There's a city falling. I, I want to go up there and see what's going on now. But yeah, it looks like there's a city falling down the cliff. Uh, ooh, can we do some parkour here? It looks like we can. All right. I'll try and go on top of this thing. That sounds fun. Hopefully we get enough speed. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that was fun. All right. Well, I got more questions than answers coming down here. Obviously... Did a tornado, did a hurricane happen or something? I mean, we got freaking buildings in the water over here. There's buildings everywhere in the ground. I mean, I just want to go up to the top now and see what happens. So let's go and uh, make our way up there, why don't we? All right, I think we found the broken city, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty damn interesting. I'm going to go on this roof uh, just to see what's up here. It'd be kind of fun to try and avoid all the cracks in this roof anyways. There we go. Yeah, this ain't creepy at all. This thing's gonna fall apart at any second now. Uh, I wonder if I can speed over these gaps. You know what? Let's try it out. Let's see what happens here. This is- oh! Oh, it, it does actually work. Okay, so over here I'm thinking, yes, that's where the broken city is. Oh, look at that jump. All right, this is gonna be a pretty hard landing, guys. Yeah, this Jeep is not gonna be able to do that one. Jeeps might have good suspension, but they're not immortal. Jesus, that was uh, that was a rough landing and a flip at the end. Look at that. All right, but this is, okay, th that's a, it looks like a demo derby track over there, but what I'm curious about, you can see it in the distance here. We got a, I mean, we got, there's so much on this map. It blows me away that like every corner I go around, there's something totally different. Looks like we got a little suburb here. But over here, yes, that is what I wanted. We got a little fun zone. Uh, can we... I don't know what goes up there, but we're going to go... Well, first of all, let's reset this and let's try going down this tube. All right, that is a very big tube. I wonder if we could get enough speed to do a loop here. Let's find out. Here we go. We're going for it. We're... Oh, we almost actually could be able to do it, but uh, wow. That is not a good spot to land. All right, this jump at the end has me curious, though. Let's see how far we can get on it. Can we ramp the whole mountain? Oh, yeah, no problem at all. That was a really good jump. And right off the map into the ocean. All right, we got to try this crazy Hot Wheels track, though. I mean, look at this thing. We've done stuff like this before, so I know it's possible. Uh, but, yeah, this time if you screw up, we are so dead. We are, like... 200 feet off the ground right now. Oh my god, I'm drifting. I'm drifting. Oh, and... Ah, oh, that's not good. Let's try some first person, shall we? These loops are usually a little easier in first person anyways, as you do need to do a lot of minute steering. So, here we go. We're going for it again. Oh, oh, oh. That's the problem. You don't have too much weight at the top, but we did it. Oh man, we can't even make it back onto the land. Even if we do it right... We totally get demolished here. That's a, that's a lose-lose situation if I've ever seen one. Oh shit, we're on fire too. <laughs> well, at least we have a nice view when we slowly burn to our death. Yep, there it goes. All right, well that was a fun zone. I wanted to go over here real quick because I saw like a school or a church or something. So, oh, this is actually a really nice area to do a little bit of drifting in this thing. And as you can see, uh, pretty damn good at drifting as well. So this looks like it just connects back into the suburbs. Uh, nice little place though. Is that a cannon? Did I just see a cannon? Oh my god, every road I go down, there's something else. Okay, that's not a cannon. Still, we got a crazy big jump up here. We're basically at the top of the world right now. Uh, no idea what that is. Again, this thing, I mean, there's just, there's so much to check out. I don't have time for everything, but uh, let's go off this thing and see where this goes. I'm going to assume, yeah, we're gonna have a nice big crash here, and that's back at the top of the mountain. 
All right, there it goes. Oh. oh, beautiful. Can't get much better than that. That is a good crash. All right, and I just realized something, actually. We went all the way around the island. So that's where you start off, and over here is where we just jumped off. So, yeah, I guess we quickly went around the island and kind of browsed it. I actually really like this map. Uh, a lot of different fun, fun zones to enjoy. But yeah, we're gonna end this one here, guys. This was the new Ibishu Hopper with, uh, of course, a bunch of different updates as well. We had uh, a lot of physics-based updates, so obviously things you won't really notice until you actually start playing the game and you can get a feel for the differences. Uh, absolutely amazing update. This is probably one of my favorite cars in the game. It might even take the Gavril D as my favorite car. It just, it's got all the pep in its step, and it's very, very light, so obviously it's a very fun car to use. All right, but we're gonna end this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, checking out the new Roamer, as always, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.